Hello, Argonaut fans, and welcome to this week's edition of the Argonaut Weekly. I'm Brent Gable, joined with assistant baseball coach Shane Gerke. Coach the baseball team, a good week, five wins, one loss on the weekend, winning both series, a midweek sweep over Division I Mississippi Valley State, and then taking two of three from Arkansas Tech on the weekend. Talk a little bit about your thoughts from the week overall. I think it's always good, especially on the weekend, to take two out of three and win the series at home. Um, we didn't play the way we wanted to play. We still haven't got to that point yet to, to play the kind of baseball we're used to playing around here. But it's always it's always positive when you take two out of three um, in any series. And, of course, the sweep with Mississippi Valley State is always good to get wins. Um, I'd say the way we won them wasn't the best. Uh, outcome that we wanted to look for offensively, defensively. Um, pitching's always, the pitching's been great all season, but um, need to come around with the sticks. You talked about the pitching, you know, it's been really good all season long and it's continued to, to be good uh, this past week. Josh Tansky and uh, Jake Stevens tossing complete games for the Argonauts, the first two complete games this season. Talk about how big players like Stevens and Tansky have been uh, for the Argonauts in the, in the rotation and how the the pitching staff has kept the Argos in so many ball games. I, I think Jake is is doing what what I thought he would do when I was recruiting him last year. Um, I thought he would be a, a front line guy at the front of the rotation, and um, it, it's, it's shown that he can he can uh, shoulder the staff. Um, Tansky is is a crafty lefty that's that's coming in. He's he's getting better with every start. You know, he's, he took some. Uh, some tough starts there first of the season, but he's, he's getting better and he's keeping us in ball games. You talked about the struggles with the position players struggling at the plate and defensively. What do you uh, attest most of that to? The Argos have really been having showing low numbers in the hit category in their past couple of games and really not putting the runs up that we're used to seeing. And defensively, really not like the Argos. Coach Shevcoat really stresses pitching and defense, and they've been making a couple of costly errors as of late. Talk a little bit about that. I just think that the, with the amount of new guys we have at the plate, um, the the junior college guys especially, is it's been it's been a constant battle to to adjust to the type of pitching they're seeing in our league. And um, when you when you're playing almost eight new position players at, at times, it, it's it's frustrating for for me especially because I'm the head coach and I ultimately take responsibility for it. But you know it's. It's a situation where we're finding ways to win games, which is great, but also the potential in our offense is not is only shown a couple times this year. You know, we have good hitters, we have um, good athletes. It's just the, the, our approach is right now, and, and it's more mental than than physical, and um, certain counts that you need to you need to look for certain things and, and use the other side of the field. We're just not doing right now, and it's very frustrating because it'd be if I was sitting here thinking, hey. You know, we don't have good enough players or something like that. It's not the case. You know, we have the talent. It's just we haven't um, bought into the overall approach of using the other side of the field to be successful um, at the four-year level. Well, the Argonauts will be back in action next weekend as they continue Gall South Conference competition on the road at Christian Brothers. You can follow all the action live here at GoArgos.com.